so gentlemen, this morning, um, I, want, I want to talk to you about believing behavior um, and, uh, and how uh, we, we've, got to, we've got to come to grips with what this really means. And, and if you don't understand this, you could be really angry at me because when I talk to your wife, this is one of Doug's lines that I've really bought into. Um, listen, women, believe behavior. Well, you say, well, thanks, Curry. No, but the truth is, I got to understand what's behind it. And you know that Doug's line is, boys make excuses and, you know, men make plans. Uh, and I, I know the longer I thought about that, something wasn't right about it. And, uh, and so, so, so for me, um, I changed it to boys make excuses, men make changes, because it's believing behavior. And, um, you know, that's why we set goals. What are we going to try to do different this week? And we might set three goals and hit only one, but we're making changes. You see the difference uh, and uh, the difference between uh, constant, you know, tears. Oh, honey, forgive me. Oh, give me another chance and all that stuff, um, you know, versus con uh, consistent effort. Um, you know, begging for another chance versus actually earning uh, the respect. Uh, excuses versus execution. Um, you know, what your words are versus what your works are. And this is where it started for me. I was, I was reading in James uh, ch chapter 2. And if you know, uh, you know, James chapter 2, 14 to 24, uh, talks about uh, faith without works is dead. Right? So if I say, oh, I love Jesus, but we don't allow him to make any changes. We make no effort towards changes. Faith without works is dead. It doesn't mean that I'm saved by my works, no, but it, what happens is to say that I love Jesus, I'm following Jesus, but there's no changes, there's no gratitude for the grace given by how I live, then they simply put your faith without works is bogus. It's, 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 it's not real. Faith without works is dead and useless. And, um, you know, uh, and, and then I got to think about this. If faith without works is dead, according to James, that, that my faith is evidenced by my works, I started to think about this, and that, that creating good faith with your wife is based on good works, not because I'm saved by that, because it really is a heart change and her grace that we can move forward but there's gratitude in this thing. And so, so it started with this idea of faith in works and that, or sorry, words and, and works. And I realized that this is the heart of a turnaround. Uh, it, it's not what I say, it's what I do. It's not simply mere intentions. Well, I'm, I'm planning on, uh, you know, I'm going to, not I did. And so, so the difference between intentions and actions, uh, I, I, this is going to affirm the person I'm going to speak to, so I'm not breaking uh, confidence, I'm affirming, but this week in my meeting with Spencer and, and Emily, um, uh, I said to Emily, I said, well, look, I says, I'll tell you one thing for sure, Spencer's showing up every week, and for a guy that has been struggling in the past, you're seeing a change because he could be, oh, well, I didn't make it and then make excuses and BS and that. And, and I told uh, two people this week, I said, what I've seen already is those guys that are consistent in the group, not because the group is magical, but it's part of staying connected. You're not letting it slip for, you know, even if you have a tough week, you're back to get motivated. You're back to get encouraged. And, and so, so the difference between intentions and actually turning on the, the dang, uh, you know, Zoom thing and being here on this screen, you know, to have all 13 of us together, um, you know, understand that, that that is that is the change. You see, the difference between plans and follow through. So, so you see all those words that, that, that fit what I say, what I do, intentions, actions, words, works, excuses, execution, plans, follow through. Do you, do you hear the difference? And, and, and I'm so excited about the, the way that, that if we continue to follow through, see, this is what builds confidence in you by your spouse. This is what builds confidence, that you put in a recovery effort every week, that you follow through with your recovery plan, that you keep your word, 
that, that you do what you say, um, that you can rebuild trust by living trustworthy and being reliable. And that you start to earn her respect because you, you stay at it. You stay at it. You, you actually take steps. I mean, having run a few marathons and trained for them, like you actually have to go out the door and start running down the street to prepare, to train. You can't just sit and say, you know, I'm going to do a marathon. And then show up the day of the marathon, expect it's going to go well. It's not going to go well. Uh, because you have to you live trustworthy. You have to follow through. You have to execute the plan. And what it does is it actually starts to earn her respect. And for, for something else, I, I told a guy yesterday, and some of you have heard this from me, I can't promise your wife back. And this guy's been separated for a long time. It's not anybody on the phone here. And, um, and, and, and I said to him, I said, I can't promise your wife back, but I can promise that we're going to go in a direction that you regain your self-respect that you're going to be able to feel better about yourself. And so part of this, what builds confidence in her and may give you a second chance is a promise made is a promise kept. If I say something, Jesus help me, I'm going to do it. A promise made is a, a promise kept. And that's why accountability is so important. You know what? Uh, you hate it when your wife chides on you, when she's the cop, when she reminds you when she she asks about this and I'll, you'll, you'll quit bugging me blah 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 okay well that's why we have an accountability part that's why we're in a group somebody can kick us in the arse to say hey come on get her going come on what are you doing we don't like our wife doing it and somehow we tolerate a man doing it because as doug says men make men and so we need to be accountable to make changes that's why even the check-ins if you feel it like Sometimes when your check-in is rather lame, you go, gee, that, that was lame. <laughs> I didn't do nothing this week. Well, okay, duh. Okay, so I don't care what it takes. Uh, set a flipping alarm. Um, tell somebody, call me every day to push me. Uh, you make calls. Uh, you know, like, oh, well, nobody called me this week. Well, how many flipping calls did you make? Why am I the guy that's making more calls than anybody? Like stupid people, make a call. And if you didn't make a call last week, make one this week. Make a change. Make one call. Encourage somebody. It's, just, it's, a, it's a three. I don't think they're longer than five minutes. It's a three-minute to five-minute call. Uh, and, you know, the guys that I either called or left a message this week, you know, it's not like, oh, Curry's talking for a half hour. It isn't that. But this is what we have to realize. If I tell your wife, believe behavior, and you're just all lip service, if you're just all lip service, if you're all just, you know, oh, tears or give me another chance and all this, but there's no effort and, and there, there's no real earning her respect because of your work, then, then we're going to be working against each other. I, 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 I believe it's right for me to tell a woman you need to believe behavior. Why? Because you've lied your flipping head off. You know, you've lied, you've hidden stuff. And so, so now... We need you to put in some hard work. And, and um, you know, I mean, I, I'd love to look at this group of, well, 15, if everybody was here, uh, I would love to look at this group and have, yeah, I'm, I'm rounding, you know, step nine, finishing step 10, and pretty soon, well, I'm done 12, well, I'm done 12, well, now what do I do? Well, I'll review it, I'll, I'll help somebody else through it. We got nobody in the group that's done the whole process, including myself. I'm going to work on it, I'm on five. But, but the point is, like, like that would be something. Wouldn't that be something? If we had a whole bunch of guys, yeah, I'm done 12. Uh, I'm just kind of watching this and doing that because I'm done 12. I'm done 12. Wouldn't that, I want to hear that. Uh, I want to hear that. I mean, why not you? Oh, well, you know, I'm busy flipping. You've got no, no excuses before Jesus right now with all this COVID stuff. You've got more time in the world. So, but again, if it's all about believing behavior, it, 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 and if it's boys make excuses and men make changes, then, then like, like for instance, I'll pick on, on somebody else. It's easy for me to talk to Carrie, Chris's wife. Why? Because she sees changes as big as billboards in his life. She sees him not only here every week at this group, but leading another group. I mean, she, she sees his whole 
attentiveness, his whole presence. He's, he's not in himself anymore. He's become out. She sees the fact that he's lost a boatload of weight as part of his recovery. Do you see, do you see that woman said, well, listen, I, my guy's changed. Well, I get it. I get it. And, you know, and, 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 and so, so this is what we're, we're going after here. And, and so, um, um, when I look at that passage in James chapter two, that faith without works is dead. And that has to do with our spiritual life. What it has to do with rebuilding integrity with our spouse and family is I need to rebuild trust by following through and trying to rebuild faith with my spouse without follow through is dead and useless. We, we have to remember that, that, her grace extended to you, her grace extended to you is your biggest push of gratefulness. And by gratefulness, I mean, I want to show myself worthy of her respect because of my work. So, so faith without works is dead and trying to rebuild trust with my wife without follow through is dead and useless as well. So believe behavior, believe your own behavior. Don't fool yourself. Oh, I'm doing better. Well, yeah, but if you're not making any changes, if you're not being in the word, reading the verses, doing the projects, is it hard work? Yeah, you don't have to do 10 out of 10 things, but you can't be doing week after week of zero out of 10 things. Do three things, do, do something every day to, to, you know, okay, if I've done nothing today, 9.30 at night, make a call. Make a three-minute call. Well, I did one thing today. I made a call. But you see, we can't let weeks go by without those changes. Be it being in the Word, being praying with your wife. You know, you know, reading a chapter in the Bible is you know seven to ten minutes, depending on the length of the chapter. Praying with your wife. I mean, unless you're Billy Graham or Mother Teresa, it's seven minutes. You know, it's not like we're praying for forty-five minutes. Yet. Now, listen, you may be a giant in prayer with your wife, but I am not. I am not. I am. I'm schizophrenic when I pray. Like it's like squirrel all over the place, and I have to stay focused. And, and it's short, or else I, who knows where I am. Okay. So, so, but you see, this is where you say, "Well, I'm not with my wife." Some of you, okay. Well, pray. I don't care. Do something. But you see, if we don't make an effort, change comes through consistent effort in a in a direction. That's how I get in shape to run a marathon. I haven't run one for about four years, so it's not like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just, because I have that in my head, getting ready for the marathon, getting ready for the, the, the event is many, 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 many days of going for 3K, 5K, 10K, or even some of the bigger runs in your prep of getting ready for the big one of doing a 20K for the 42K run. And so, 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 but it's lots of, lots of consistent muscle memory and, 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 and everything that happens. And, and that's what we're after. Uh, so, so all I want to, to do today is remind you that your wife has a right to believe behavior. She has a right. You've heard the expression, talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Wah, 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 wah. Big deal. Tears, <laughs> big deal. Oh, give me another chance. I'm, I'm really changed now. Big deal, nothing, forget it. Make the changes, put in the work. Quit your whining. Now, if your wife talked to you straight like this, well, who are you? Could you point out you're this, you're not perfect that, and we all these excuses to blame somebody else. But boys make excuses, men make changes. That's what my heart was. Uh, that's my heart was saying today.